Hey everyone, it's Eric and Roy, and this is Hatchet Cast. Uh, we're gonna call it Shop Talk. It's like a micro episode where we're talking about pieces of gear or a piece of equipment or a gun part. Um, but we're gonna do these small episodes in between the normal episodes of Hatchet Cast um, to kind of give our opinion about different things that we try out and test out. So today we're gonna be talking about the Vortex Micro X magnifier and this is the 3x version yeah the 3x so i don't know if they have a 5x but we're gonna throw that out there just in case they do i'm pretty sure it just makes smaller things bigger but we'll get into it we'll, we'll get into it so um let's throw out some specs okay so real quick a couple of specs about this we have overall length of it is going to be 2.9 inches uh weight is nine and a half ounces Eye relief is about two and a half inches, which what, what, we, we kind of found that that was pretty true, right? About two and a half, three three inches as far as where you had to be to get a full eye box where you could see everything. Yes, yeah, so, and like no black in the edges. Yeah, yeah. no black yeah. in the edges or anything yeah. like that. So it was pretty close to being what they said as far as specs wise goes. Uh, it does come with some shims in the box so you can adjust for your particular height, whether you're a co-witness guy or a lower one third. Mm. Uh, me and Eric both ran this on a riser, on a Picatinny riser. Uh, kind of like that uh, night vision height, gas mass height, yeah. unity risers. Yeah, what's that, 193? Kind of like 193, two inches, maybe yeah. a little above two inches yeah. uh, is what we ran it on. Actually, we ran it on a Knight's Armament um, night vision mount, which has a Picatinny uh, behind an aim point, and then you ran it on a bow bro. bro. Bo, we missed this. We should really look that up. Is it up. bro bro or bow bro? If you know it, put it in the comment below. Yeah, put it down in the comments below. I think it's bow bro. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think that's what it is. That's what we ran it on. Which oh. is actually uh, something to, to talk about because right now the Unity Tactical Risers or the uh, Magnifier mount is really a hot item. And I kind of wish that this was able to be compatible with that, but it's not. It's only compatible with the EOTech Magnifier and the Aimpoint one. Yeah, you're talking about the Unity. Yes. Yeah, yeah. the Unity. Yeah. So, yeah, this isn't currently compatible with anything, so you're stuck with what you have from the factory as far as I know. If yes. someone knows something different, yeah, definitely shoot that down in the comment. But we couldn't find anything. Uh, so we actually just ran it on a pick riser behind our dots, which actually is kind of nice. Yeah. It gives you the ability to just throw your dot on top of that riser and then your magnifier and have everything at that, that proper height for night vision. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, uh, anyways, Roy was, there was this focus ring, is what he calls it, <laughs> a focus ring. Okay, we still, we were talking about that earlier. So. All right, so we're going to go uh, yeah. into uh, yeah. <laughs> into the focus ring here. Yeah, um, not the focus ring? Not, <laughs> <laughs> not the focus ring. Okay. Uh, the focus ring actually uh, turns pretty smooth. Um, so if you got old eyes and you can't really see anything, you can kind of adjust it in as I'm looking through it here. Now, the focus uh, ring does help with eye relief, right? Or is it the diopter or whatever? The, it, what, the diopter will kind of clear it up for eye relief, but okay. your eye relief distance yeah. to get a clear box, uh, that full sight picture is going to be roughly right about that two and a half to three inches roughly. Can you explain what eye relief is? So um, The easiest way to explain what eye relief is is when you get behind your optic and you look through your magnification, do you see any kind of edges? If you're seeing any kind of black edges, not, and I'm talking about the optic itself, yeah. inside the glass. If right. you're looking inside the glass and you see any kind of black edges, high, low, mm. left, right, if it's all the way around in a circle, that is your eye relief. Okay, right. So you have, have to be a certain distance from that on that set magnification to have a nice, full, clear picture. So the entire TV screen that you're looking through, right. per se, or the entire screen that you're looking through is nice and clear. Right. Um, that, is, that is the easiest way to explain it. Everyone is probably thrown up, regardless how much shooting you've ever done, a set of binoculars. Yeah. Okay, if you have a set of binoculars pulled away from your face, you're going to see a bunch of black rings. Right. You pull it close to your face, there's going to be a certain point in time where it clears up and you can see directly through them with no issues. Right. Same thing with a spotting scope or anything. Right. Uh, everything has an eye relief to it. Some okay. stuff is a little bit less, some stuff's a little more. Mm. You have some... And we'll get into talking about comparing other magnifiers and some other videos, but today, obviously, we're just talking about the Vortex and what we experience with it and what we like about it, what we don't maybe... Not necessarily some pros and cons. Yeah. You know, um, we didn't really have a whole lot of cons. To yeah. Be honest honestly, with you. yeah. Yeah. Really didn't. At the end of the day. Uh, Eric, you've ran this more than I have. Um, when it came down to zeroing it, of course, I, I zeroed it on my gun also. 
Um, well, we're not necessarily zeroing a magnifier. Uh, you're just truing up your dot behind it. So you're, you're going to zero your, your red dot like you typically would uh, for you guys that don't know. Uh, we both zeroed at 50 yards, correct? Yes. So we zeroed our dots first. I did that. Um, I had an EOTech in front of the magnifier at first, and then I switched over to a primary arms reticle uh, in a hollow sun. So a hollow sun optic with a primary arms ACSS reticle in it. Um, and so I would zero that dot first. Then I would put the magnifier behind it and uh, kind of center that dot inside the glass. So we're just centering up the dot. Uh, it has some adjustments for, for up and down and left and right for your elevation and your windage, but you're not really adjusting your windage. Yeah. It, it, it was um, and just, you're not adjusting your elevation. All right. you are doing is physically changing where that dot is in the center of the glass. More like left, right, up, yep, down. Correct. Yeah, correct. Exactly. You're not going to change your impact or anything like that. Now, where people do start to see an impact shift if they don't do this and this is one of the things that's kind of crucial for you guys that haven't shot with a magnifier before centering that dot up in there so you're not moving your head mm. because then we kind of move into that whole thing about parallax where right. you're not sitting directly behind the reticle and that can throw your shot right? correct and that can yeah. throw your shot so if you don't true up your magnifier one of the things that we have seen a lot where let's just say the dot is in the upper portion of the glass yeah guys are moving their head to try to make the dot in the center of the glass. Right. And obviously that's going to throw your shot. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. <clears throat> and the, when you have actually, when we were doing the adjustments on the magnifier, it actually had some really nice audible clicks. Yeah. We've tried other uh, magnifiers in the past where it has like almost like a rubbery type feel to it and not actually like audible and like you can actually feel clicks. Yeah, these are very solid. Um, yeah. You can actually feel it just like if you were adjusting your scope or your or your aim point or Hollison or anything like that where you have that nice solid kind of click, not yep. real mushy to it. Yep. If you needed to physically count them out if you wanted to, you can. Um, there is no value to them no. per se, but they are very solid. Uh, the caps that they come with, it's actually, I love the fact that companies are doing this and um, I think Aimpoint was one of the first that does it. Uh, they have the little slots on them, uh, kind of like a flathead, yeah. to, to adjust it. So you can do it all so in the field. you can use your cap to adjust, to adjust the actual it. thing. So no need to bring any extra tools with you or anything like that. The focus ring on the backside seems to operate relatively very smooth. Yeah, um, a real smooth focus ring. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Sorry. Comment down below how many times we said fuck it straight so far. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe we'll give something out to the first person that does that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, nice and smooth there. Um, what are some pros that you've seen out of it? I mean, the biggest thing also, you know, typical with Vortex is the glass is obviously super clean, um, real easy to um, to see through, no blurriness, no cloudiness whatsoever, not not even really a lot of bubbliness to the uh, to the actual you know glass. Um, the other thing is when I flip it out of the way, obviously something that with the Unity is it will um, you know you could bring that optic straight down. So kind of with these new modern um, mounts for magnifiers allows the optic or the magnifier to go straight down and it's not flipped off to the side. So this flips off to the side, kind of older style, but it really didn't bother me. And I'm also a southpaw shooter, so it's kind of... I mean, you've been running magnifiers for, for a while. For a while, yeah. And before you ever got into the Unity stuff, all magnifiers flipped off to the side. Yes, so, and I, I prefer how it's just tension held. So I can just flip it out. I don't have to push a button and rotate it over. And it's it's very solid. Very uh, solid. Very solid. Yeah, um, there's no wiggle at yeah. all. Uh, the mounting bracket that it comes with is a quick disconnect. Uh, you do have shims, like I said earlier, so you can change your heights as far as what you may be running it at. The, the QD seems to hold very solid. Yeah, no, and it, it no tightens issue. down almost like an American Defense. Yeah, very similar um, to an American tight. Defense. Yep. No issues right there. Uh, didn't see anything. Uh, never came loose on no. me. Didn't come loose on you, nope. so I don't see any, any problems with that. Uh, been very solid. And glass, like Eric said, glass is super clear. I mean, we super ran this clear. thing out to 500 yards. 500. Yep, 500. Yep. Um, no issues making out targets. Nope. It does what it's supposed to do. A magnifier is supposed to bring targets closer to you. Correct. Yeah. And so I, I would say even with the, um, the – one of the big things with a magnifier is can I hit a dot out it to 500 yards? Could we do that? For yes, sure. we could. Yep. But it made life a heck of a lot easier, Yeah, especially to PID just, or just get a little bit more accuracy. Being able to identify and see the target. Yeah. I mean, even some of the targets that we've shot with it that were relatively small, we shot some uh, four-inch targets at roughly 
about 150 yards roughly, yeah. something like that. Yep. Um, made it really easy to do. Made yeah. pretty quick and easy work of it. So, so yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it, it does what is advertised. Uh, price point. Yeah, I was about to say. What's the price point? Uh, yeah, That's price, price point wise goes. Uh, they come in at if you look on Vortex website, full full MSRP. I do believe is four forty nine. Yeah, four hundred fifty bucks. Four fifty. Yeah, yeah four forty nine ninety nine. Four hundred fifty bucks uh, is full MSRP. I can tell you that you can find these typically about two eighty to about three fifty. Right. Um, when we're recording this today, it's kind of Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. Yeah. I've seen some sales on them out there. Right. Uh, right now, uh, I think I, I just was looking at picking up another one, and mm-hmm. on Optics Planet, there was like an eleven percent discount on it. So. Right. You know, you're probably 275 bucks roughly. Yeah. So plus half of that, you're also paying for that lifetime warranty through Vortex, no yep. questions asked, yep. which is super nice. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a warm, fuzzy feeling if something goes yep. wrong with it. Yep. So we ran this thing um, on a couple different rifles. Both of them were 11.5. Yep, 11.5. We ballistics. didn't run it on anything yep. else, right? Uh, well, you ran on a Knights 11.5. I ran on a ballistic. Um, but yep. no, no, just yeah. just. So yeah, ran it behind an Aimpoint Micro. It's been ran behind an EOTech um, and then a Holosun. Yep. All of them been great. Solid little piece of gear. Um, I would definitely purchase one. Yeah. For sure. Uh, this one, how did, how did you come about this one? This one uh, with... Actually got that through from Ben from Wiseman Company. Okay. So uh, that's he was he wanted me to do a kind of a checkout on it and see how it ran. And so okay. far it's yeah. been amazing. I, I, would, I would, you know. If as you far were, as Hatchet Cast comes, we yeah. give a stamp of approval. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you'd buy one. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Even though we got this one obviously for free, you'd, you'd spend your hard money on it, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I would too. I like it a lot. I uh, probably will buy one. Yeah. As a secondary to, I have some um, Aimpoint magnifiers and EOTech magnifiers. I really like running a red dot and a yeah. magnifier. It's one of my favorite systems. Yes. So I'll probably pick one of these up myself. That's one of the reasons why I was looking at some Black Friday prices. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but yeah, stamp of approval. Like it. Very solid. Very happy with it. Yep. All right. Well, hey, that is our kind of overview. And like I said, these are our shorter episodes called Shop Talk. Um, they're going to be in between the normal episodes that we have here on Hatchet Cast. If you are a fan of the channel, if you want to help us out, the best way you can help us out is subscribe, comment below, have a discussion, um, and have healthy discussions down there. Uh, and, and help each other grow and help us to learn something. We, we always like to go in the comment section and just and, and learn new things or hear about your guys' experiences. Also, if you know somebody that could benefit off the channel or um, could benefit off of the information or the knowledge, please share, share the video links. Um, it really does help us out. We are a new channel, and uh, we love hearing from you guys. So anyways, uh, Roy, you got anything else? No, that's it, man. Cool, man. We'll see you on the next HatchetCast episode, and we'll see you later.